Well, thunderstorms have not gotten out of hand uh, just yet across the area. Hello, I'm meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple Doppler radar shows for the most part tonight, I do not expect widespread severe weather for the Shenandoah Valley or Central Virginia. We're seeing most of the activity stay to the north and also to our west. And we did have one strong to severe storm that was warned on around 3, 3.30 between Harrisonburg, Grottos, and then it weakened as it moved into the areas of Green and into Avonmore. County. We've seen that multiple times right over the last week or so, but for right now, it's pretty quiet across I-64 and the I-81 corridor and Route 29. But if you head farther north and east of Culpeper into Warrington, into portions of the D.C. metro area, numerous severe thunderstorms capable of producing large hail, damaging winds, lots of lightning and torrential downpours. This complex will miss us to the northeast, I guarantee it, heading more towards the Potomac and also towards the northern neck and the uh, I-95 core. Corridor. Back to the southwest, though, for much of the area, a severe thunderstorm watch is in effect from the National Weather Service for the next couple of hours for the possibility of a new storm developing. But for right now, most of the activity is staying to our southwest. I am noticing a complex of storms over eastern and west Virginia, but it's pointed more towards the Lexington and Roanoke area, kind of bypassing us to the west of the Shenandoah Valley from areas west of Harrisonburg and also west of the Stanton area. But there's that cold front still across areas of the Appalachian. So we have to get this through here before we begin to calm things down. And definitely we will see calmer and nicer, cooler and drier weather as we head into tomorrow because high pressure will begin to build on in here as we go into Monday and Tuesday before more active weather heads our way Wednesday. So future cast show 7 o'clock. Yeah, there could be one or two showers or storms begin to reform as that front moves through here between now and say sunset. But, but uh, when you join us at 11 o'clock, most of the area should begin to dry out and have falling temperatures through the 60s and 50s by tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine for your Monday and Tuesday with highs only in the low to mid 70s tomorrow. Outside live in Charlottesville showing us mostly cloudy skies from clouds from storms off to the north. It's in the low 80s right now in Charlottesville, but where we've had some rainfall in Harrisonburg, 73 degrees. And uh, if you get a downpour, that will definitely knock your temperature down. Overnight tonight, well, any evening shower and storm will exit after sunset. Those will be in the 50s by tomorrow morning. And for your Monday forecast, some sunshine, blue skies, a few fair weather clouds. I guarantee no rain, no storms for tomorrow. Highs will be in the mid 70s in Charlottesville, barely 70 in the Shenandoah Valley with a breezy, blustery northwest wind. It'll feel very nice to us out there. And as we go into your Michael and Sun 70 forecast, how about 49 degrees tomorrow night and Tuesday morning? Wow, that's really going to be cool. Upper 70s on Tuesday and then another severe weather threat on Wednesday, low 80s and then off and on showers and thunder possible into the end of next week and into next weekend. So right now it looks like the bulk of the severe weather will miss us here this evening. Good news there. We've had tons of severe weather lately, so mm -hmm. fingers crossed this one misses yeah, us. Welcome break tomorrow for sure. All right, Josh. Thank you very much.